Do you know what Utoff's phenomenon is? Have you had multiple sclerosis symptoms from heat sensitivity? If you said yes to either of these questions, then please hit that thumbs up for me so I know that you understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to explain a very unusual symptom that I've had for a few months now. I didn't think anything of it to start with, but now I've worked out what the trigger is. I'm not sure if it's Utoff's, just multiple sclerosis or something else altogether. I'm hoping with your help and experiences that we can work out if it's UTOFs or just MS and don't worry folks I will be speaking to my doctor about this in my next appointment. Hey folks my name is Ian. I was diagnosed with MS 12 years ago and I now make videos exploring the multiple sclerosis experience and positive ways to live with MS right here on YouTube every week. So first I'm going to run through what I know about Utoff's phenomenon, what the symptoms are and how it affects the body. Then it will be fresh in our minds when I'm explaining my current symptoms and what triggers these a little later on. If you find my video helpful at any point whilst you're watching then please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. So, according to the Multiple Sclerosis Trust, Utoff's phenomenon, or Utoff sign, is the temporary worsening of MS symptoms caused by an increase in body temperature. Increased body temperature could be caused by a hot meal, hot weather, central heating, exercises, hot shower, or even stress. Studies have shown that a very small rise in temperature is enough to block or slow the conduction of a nerve impulse along a nerve that has suffered demyelination from MS damage. This can make your existing symptoms worse, but once your body temperature returns to normal, the symptoms generally improve. So tell me, have you suffered with this before? Is this something that you've lived with day to day, or something you've had in the past? Please comment below. I read all of my comments, and I'd really love to hear your experiences of this, and I'm sure that others would too. So, moving on to my symptoms. I do feel this is Utoff's phenomenon, especially after my research for this video. To start with, I really wasn't sure, I was confused by what was triggering the feeling, but now I'm certain what triggers it, and this then makes me believe that it's Utoff's. So the trigger for this turns out to be stress, but this was masked by heat for some time. I'd found this coming on when I was cooking dinner, it would get hot in the kitchen, and then after a minute or two, it would come on quite strong. I'd then have to go outside and cool down and after a few minutes away from the heat, it would slowly pass. Then I noticed that it would come on at work. The thing is at work, I wasn't too warm, and even in some cases, I was virgin on being cold, but it would still strike. This is when I worked out that it was related to stress and not heat. The next time it happened cooking dinner, I had the realization that the heat of the kitchen and the concentration of cooking was also stressing me out. This is what was causing the symptoms after all. And if you remember at the beginning of the video, one of the causes of increased body temperature was stress. I'd cracked it. Now, I first started to notice that when I get hot or stressed, I'd get this numb tingle across my shoulder blades and slightly down my back. It was a new sensation and one that at first was hard to explain how it felt. I now think I can explain it. And the way I'll describe it is firstly like a wave of electric tingle that comes from the center of my back across my shoulder blades towards my shoulders and sometimes straight up my spine. It also has a very strange numbness that seems to cover the same area. It's also almost like the skin is numb to the touch but the nerves just under the skin are alive with electricity. It seems to start with a couple of bursts of electric shock running out from the centre and then they die down to a dull ache and deadness in that area and the numbness and the aching just lingers for a few minutes until it slowly disappears. This can run its cycle in just two minutes or last as long as half an hour, but it always just fizzles out to nothing and then just feels fine again. There's also a tightness that comes across the skin and I've noticed this is just before the rest of it starts. It's almost like you have sticky tape stuck across your back and then moments later the electric shock begins. Now that I've spotted this early sign, I'm going to try to react to it before the symptoms begin and see if I can reduce the symptoms or even possibly stop them. I'm going to try a big drink of cold water to reduce my core temperature and also use a pressure point on my hand that's supposed to reduce stress. I imagine by the time I'm feeling this early warning sign that it's probably going to be too late to stop it, but I'm still going to give it a go. You never know, if I can stop it before it begins, then maybe I can teach others how to as well. So, do you think this is Utoff's phenomenon? Give me a thumbs up if so. Please check out some more of my content and here is a video that you really must watch. 
If you think you might enjoy hearing me talk about positive ways to live with MS, please click subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching folks, see you next time, bye.